Yeah, so guys, it is Wild here, and today I'm going to be going over the best settings to boost your FPS and get the lowest input latency possible. Firstly, to start off, you need to go into your BIOS and enable either XMP or Expo so that your RAM can run at its full speed. The next thing I highly recommend doing is to de-bloat your Windows 11 if you're playing on Windows 11, which I think a lot of people are now. So yeah, I'll leave a link to this GitHub. This is Raphire's Windows de-bloat, and it is honestly insane. Like, it just gets rid of so much of the bloat that is added to Windows and makes it feel super nice and snappy. Obviously, though, if you use some Windows apps for work and stuff like that then yeah be careful when doing it but real quick guys today's video is sponsored by skins monkey the safe automated easy to use cs2 trading site that gives you an insane 35 percent deposit bonus for every cash deposit when using code wild also by using the code you can claim up to a five dollar free bonus on your first a hundred dollar trade and don't worry there are a ton of deposit methods so it's super easy to load up all you need to do is click the top link in the description sign into the site with your steam and using the filters you can find some skins that are just right for you and trade away any of your old skins that you're bored of but yeah Let's get back to the video. So search up graphic settings, and then you guys can turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Give it a test, then come back and turn it off and test it again, because depending on your hardware, this can help or hinder your performance. For me, I keep it on. The only other setting here that I recommend is turning on optimizations for windowed games, as it reduces latency for games playing in windowed. So for example, if you're playing full screen borderless or you want to play in full screen borderless, definitely turn this on. But otherwise, just play in full screen, guys. It's way better. Then if you just click graphics at the top here and scroll all the way down to find CS2, then just click option options and make sure that high performance is enabled and click save. The next thing to do is come to gaming and then make sure that game mode is turned on. Again, this is for Windows 11. You also want to come back and make sure that captures are turned off as well as game bar. The other Windows settings I'd change is the privacy settings. So yeah, if you just click that down here, obviously you want to make sure that all your security stuff is up. But yeah, things like find my device, turn that off. And then same with all these other things, pretty much just go through and turn them all off. After turning them all off, make sure that you come down and you also turn off things like location services. This stuff does not need to be on. Then if we come into task, manager and you go to your startup apps just go through and right click and make sure that you disable all of the apps that you don't need to start when your pc loads up it also might be worth checking that your drivers are up to date so i have an nvidia gpu but you can do this on amd just by checking that they're up to date now if you want to look more into it you can download specific drivers which can be better for cs2 but the latest drivers should be good for most now again if you have an nvidia graphics card open up nvidia control panel and under adjust image settings make sure to check this bottom one and switch it to performance then go to manage 3d settings and make sure that under power management mode prefer maximum performance is selected and then just click apply then under adjust desktop size and position make sure you're selecting the monitor that you use and if you're wanting to play 4x3 stretched obviously have full screen checked and then perform scaling on gpu and override the scaling mode set by games and programs make sure that's checked now for some launch options right click on counter strike 2 click properties and then what we want to do is do dash no reflex to disable reflex as as it doesn't work as intended on cs2 and you also want to put plus fps underscore max zero so that your fps is uncapped now for some in-game settings. For your video settings, you definitely don't want windowed and preferably don't use full screen window. The option you should pick is full screen, but obviously I'm recording a video at the moment. Now what you do want to change is your resolution to the lowest resolution possible. This is just to lower your GPU load. So normally when I'm playing, I'll use either 1280 by 960 or if I want the game to look a bit crisper. Recently I've been playing 1440 by 1080. Of course you don't have to play stretched, just play whatever res you like, but yeah, the lower the better. Now for advanced video settings, turn off boost player contrast, turn off off vsync and then here are the best presets you can just pause the video and copy them now if you don't like playing without anti-aliasing you can change this to 2x also if you don't mind the performance hit you can turn shadows up to medium but you don't need to anymore guys because we have dynamic shadows whereas before yes you did need to have like high shadows same goes with model and texture detail on low it does look pretty trash so if you don't like the pixelated look when you dink someone you can turn this up to medium and then yeah for skins as well bilinear will look rubbish so you can turn this up to anisotropic 2x and skins will look okay again shaded detail I'd only turn this up to high if you want knives and some skins to look good and then yeah the rest just keep the same but yeah they're all the best settings let me know in the comments down below what fps you get drop a like and sub with notice on if this helped and yeah guys that's pretty much it